Hi, I'm Molly. And I'm Jamie, and this is our From the Pasture with Hired Hand podcast. As the owners of Hired Hand website software, we've been developing websites and creating internet marketing strategies for livestock breeders for the past 10 years. The majority of our customers are involved in the breeding of registered animals, such as Texas Longhorns, Highland cattle, horses, and white-tailed deer, where the pedigrees are very important. The From the Pasture with Hired Ham podcast examines many of the differences in raising pedigreed livestock for maximum profit. Join us and learn what we're covering today. Today we're doing a recap of last weekend's 2024 Longhorn Legacy Sale that occurred in Grapevine, Texas. And you were there in person, Jamie. Uh, Was it a fun weekend? It was a really fun weekend. Um, On Thursday night, Barb and Jason Shigoda hosted the pre-party um, event. Uh, that was a lot of fun. There was bull riding. We have winners of the, the pictures of the winners online on our social media. So people will be able to go out and see some some pictures of the winners, the crowd favorites, you know, who won best costume and that kind of thing. And then on Friday, the sale kicked off on, for the heifer sale on Friday night. And then after that was uh, Neil McCoy, who always puts on a really great concert. And then some was a cow sale. And overall, I think it was a, a great weekend. I think everyone had fun. Nice. So today we're going to be going over not only the high sellers and most viewed and averages for the sale, but we're also going to go through some fraturity results, as well as a recap of the NF, excuse me, NLFR um, highest heifers. So uh, stay tuned with us, and we're going to walk you through each uh, each little segment here. All right. Should we jump in and get started with the stats? Let's do it. So let's talk about the heifer sale first. The unofficial total was 422,000, while the unofficial average was 13,187. The internet only average was 13,625. The cow sales unofficial total was $783,500, while the unofficial average was $15,989. The internet only average was 19,850. With this being the second sale of 2024 to be included in our Hired Hand Live Trends and Averages series, the 2024 annual average to date is $9,069, while the internet only average is $8,009. That's not too shabby. Hopefully we can keep that trend going for the year, don't you think? (laughs) I know. It's a pretty good average so far. It is. I'll take it. Let's talk about the number of views. There were 44,323 total views of consignments online, with 18,072 on the heifer sale lots and 26,251 on the cow sale lots. There were also 152 registered internet bidders before the sale. The most viewed cow before the sale was lot 10, Silent Iron, consigned by Diamond Bee Ranch. She had almost 1,200 views. And she was also the most viewed by the end of the sale, but added about 400 total more views to her tally. Now let's go over the top five in-person sellers and buyers for the heifer sale. The number one highest selling lot overall was lot H36 ND 20 Shots of Autumn, consigned by Ryan and Brandy Schmidt, and she sold for $38,000 to Lisa Lubering. The second highest lot overall was lot H17 LBR Cherry Cheesecake, consigned by Greg Cott. She sold for $32,500 to Bill and Elizabeth Hudson. The third highest selling heifer overall was lot H7, M7 High Caliber, consigned by Dan and Christy Grove, and she sold for $24,500 to Catherine Dale. A fun little fact about Catherine Dale, this was the first sale that her and her family have ever attended. So she went off with a bang. Wow, that's that's going to leave an impression, I feel like. It's going to be hard to beat that. <laughs> Definitely. So the number four highest selling lot overall was H8 HL Come On Over, consigned by Bill and Elizabeth Hudson, who sold for 22000 to Brian and Karen Allen. And rounding out the top five for the high selling heifers was lot H2 6CR Rebel Cat, consigned by Tim and Nicole Clark, and she sold for $20,000 to Robert Floyd. Now let's move on to the cow sale. Number one high-selling lot overall was lot 16, Y.R. Roscoe's Foxy Girl, consigned by Mike and Tracy Young, and she sold for $60,000 to Nico Mikos. The second highest-selling cow overall was lot number 46, B.L. Dazzle, consigned by Bob and Pam Loomis, and she sold for $50,000 to the Whitlock-Vanderford Partnership. 
Coming in on number three highest selling lot was lot 19, BCR Lucky Charm 913, consigned by Jason Hardy, who sold for 49000 to Robert Floyd. The fourth highest selling lot overall was lot number three, Formal Stroller, consigned by Randy Murray, and she sold for 35000 to Siller Longhorns. The fifth highest selling lot overall was lot 47, Rustic Delta, consigned by Chase and Elizabeth Lunchford. She sold for 30000 to Craft Ranch. And we should note that none of these stats include the donation lot, which also sold very well. This was lot number 59, and the donation lot sold three times for a total of $115,000. Should we move on to the top online sellers in the heifer sale? Yep. All right. The number one high seller was lot H9, BRD Nile, consigned by Diamond B Ranch, and she sold for $26,500 to Hunter Bolt on Hired Hand Live. Number two was H4, LL Rhodes, consigned by Mike and Rhonda Lutt, who sold for $22,000 to Chris Clark. The third highest selling lot on Hired Hand Live was H29 Voodoo Doll, consigned by the Freeman Jarnigan Partnership, who sold for $13,500 again to Hunter Bolt. And Hunter, I'm sorry if I'm saying your last name wrong. If we are, you'll have to let us know. Um, this is Hunter and his dad, Craig, also were purchasing for the first time at the Legacy Sale, and they got quite a few online this year. So number four, H25 at Louis Vuitton, CDC, consigned by Chris and Christina Clark, sold for $7,750 to Hunter Bolt. And rounding out the top five heifers that sold through Hired Hand Live is lot H5, RJF Rebels Image 224, consigned by Richard and Jeannie Phillip, who sold for $6,500 once again to Hunter Bolt. Thank you, Hunter. Next, we'll move on to the top five online sellers and online buyers for the cow sale on Saturday. At the top of the list is lot number 23, BCR Wanted Woman 648, consigned by Greg Cott, and she sold for $70,000 to Chris Clark. She was also the highest selling lot in the legacy sale. Number two is lot 29, RJF Strawberry Sunday, consigned by Richard and Jeannie Phillip, who sold for 11000 to Hunter Bolt. The third highest selling heifer on Hired Hand Live was lot number 43, Swag Darlin BCB, consigned by Dan Jones and Tracy Jones, and sold for $10,000 to Brent Crabtree. Number four is lot 37, T-Bill Plums Rowdy, consigned by Ricky and Sandra McLeod, who sold for $5,500 to Clay Cloxon. And rounding out the top five cows to sell on Hired Hand Live is lot number 54, Rustic Confetti, consigned by Chris and Christina Clark, and she sold for $2,750 to Donna Moore. So thank you to everyone who utilized Hired Hand Live during the sale, whether it was to watch, to bid, or to purchase. Here are a few more internet influence stats. $181,000 was the total value added through internet bidding with 81750 of that coming from the heifer sale and 99250 from the cow sale. It's also interesting to note that the internet average was higher than the overall average for the sale. There were 337 total online bids and 11 lots sold online, 6 from the heifer sale and 5 from the cow sale to 6 different online buyers. So Jamie, these next, uh, this next list that we're going to go through is a new feature to our recap podcast, and that is NLFR stats. Do you want to tell our listeners what exactly the NLFR is and why we're including it in our Monday morning podcast? Yeah, sure. So the NLFR stands for National Longhorn Futurity Race, um, and what they are doing is combining all of the points given to the an- each animal from each futurity um, and just letting people know who the top um, the top animals are after every sale. Those stats can be found on the Huntington Sales website, which is huntingtonsales.com. Uh, they have the top, I think they have it broken down by top 25 um, cows and top 25 bulls. Plus they also have the overall stats on there. So we'll be going over the top five heifers and the top five bulls. So if anybody wants to see any more results, they can head on over to the Huntington Sales website. And just to clarify, Jamie, these top five animals that we're going to list, this is just their score from the weekend, or this is where they sit overall after this futurity? Overall after this futurity, um, and then also the um, the Winchester futurity that happened in February. So this is the 
total after the first two fraternities of the year. Perfect. Do you want to start us off with the top five heifers? Yep. So number one is BCR Josie 271, who is owned by Bull Creek Longhorns, and she has the total points of 440.25 points. The number two heifer is Double K Trick Me Twice, owned by Double K Longhorns, and she has also sold at the Legacy Sale to Randy Murray. Her point total after the weekend is 226. Coming in at number three is HL Come On Over, owned by Hudson Longhorns, who also sold at the Legacy Sale to Brian and Karen Allen. She has a total points of 225.5. I, I know I noticed here on our list, I'm looking at Jamie, that quite a few more of these also sold at the legacy sale. And I love this because now, you know, there's a new owner who, you know, maybe didn't have the top five animal before. And now they do. They just slide on in there with their purchase. That's that's pretty cool. It's fun to watch. All right. Were we on number four? Is that right? Yep. Mm-hmm. All right. You can, the, thank, you can uh, thank Dale for the pronunciation of this name. <laughs> We'll see if we'll see how bad I mess it up. He'll have to let us know. So the number four heifer is D H Lakshmi. Did I get it close? We're gonna go. Yeah, you did. All right. Owned by Rock and H Longhorns, and who sold at the Legacy Sale to Cindy Bolin, and she has two hundred twenty-five points to her name. These uh, looks like three and four are point five points away from each other. So tight race so far. That's crazy. Hopefully they'll keep taking them to future for charities and, and keep building up their balance there. Yep. All right. And coming in at number five is Cracklin Rose 222, owned by Circle A Longhorns, who also sold out the legacy sale to Aaron and Mika Landis. Her total points are 224.75. All right. Let's move on to the top five bulls. Then the bull in number one in terms of points right now is Ole Ragnarok owned by Oliver Longhorns with a total of 221.25. Number two, Taser, owned by Bryant Cattle Company with a total of 220.25 points. Number three is also owned by Bryant Cattle Company. His name is One Cool Ombre, and he has a total of 219.5 points. Number four is Grand Slam Checks 317, owned by M7 Longhorns Loomis Partnership, with a total of 219 points. Man, all these bulls are really close. Really, really close. Very very close. Rounding out the top five is Bucks Tex, owned by Buxton Longhorns, with a total of 218 and three-fourths points. All right, so the Legacy Sale also had its own heifer for charity, and now we're going to go through the top five animals that placed in that for charity, but we're also going to recap where their points fall within the NLFR for charity uh, rankings that we just went off. One is M7 High Caliber, bred by Dale and Janet Manwaring, owned by Grove Cattle Company, sold at the Legacy Sale to Catherine Dale with 200 and 30.25 points. The second high placing heifer in the legacy sale for charity was M7 Rising Queen, bred by Warren and Kathy Dorothy, owned by M7 Longhorns, and sold at the legacy sale to Jeremy McIntyre with 229.75 points. Number three is All Gussie Oak, owned and bred by Lonesome Pine Ranch with 229 points. She, fun fact, is was also the most viewed before and after the sale. Knowing Lonesome Pine, she's probably a super flashy, super colorful heifer. (laughs) She is, and I have a good feeling that uh, we're going to be seeing her name a lot this year for the um, the NLFR results. The fourth highest placing heifer in the fraternity was LBR Cherry Cheesecake, bred and owned by Laidback Ranch. She sold at the legacy sale to Bill and Elizabeth Hudson, and she ended the the weekend with 228.5 points. And to round out the top five is BCR Josie 271, bred and owned by Bull Creek Longhorns, with 226.5 points. And she is currently the top heifer in the NLFR race. So one of the things we've started doing with the past few sales is asking attendees to text us their um, feedback from the weekend. And so we have quite a few comments to read through here for you. We got so many, um, a lot of them didn't have names with them. So today we're just going to read through the top 
four or five that um, people put their names on and then, um, you know, just reiterate that everyone really thought it was uh, just an overall great weekend. So, Jamie, do you want to read the first one? Yep. The first one comes in from Bill Hudson. He says the Longhorn Legacy Group has done it again. Another first class event that brought the entire industry together for a big weekend of great cattle, great marketing and great fun with our Longhorn friends. The next text came from Keith Hagler, and Keith said, Always a great sale. The bull riding competition, along with Neil McCoy, was so entertaining. Everyone involved with this event did an amazing job. Looking forward to next year. One from Steve Jordan is the auctioneer and the pedigree reader did a fantastic job. Food and drinks were excellent. The facility was very good. Just a great experience. Thank you for putting on an excellent show. The Legacy remains a top venue for Longhorn breeders. This next one comes from some fairly new breeders, Nico and Theo at Mikos Ranch. It says, We had a great time at the Legacy Sale this year. The concert was a hit on Friday night. We want to thank everyone who helped us try to get our cow back to Michigan after the show. That showed us how great it is to be a part of this Longhorn family. Big shout out to Wayne and Joanna for stepping up and taking the cow and calf back to their ranch for a month. Thank you very much. Karen Allen says, I like the new sale ring. I know you have some tweaks, but it is an improvement. Sale very well organized, went smoothly. Unloading was pretty quick and went smoothly as well. So we really want to thank everyone that participates in, in the text message responses that we ask for after the weekend. Um, and we'll be sure to share all of these answers as well with the sale hosts. And join us again for our next post-sale recap um, on April 15th after the Bluegrass Salem Futurity, which is April 12th and 13th.